Welcome back to another video. Today we have the Xbox Adaptive Controller and the Logitech Adaptive Gaming Kit. Each device comes in at about $100 each and is $200 altogether. This adaptive gaming setup allows the user to customize the way that they game. I have found this to be one of the coolest products that we have in our library, so I really love it and after testing it out, I find it to be really versatile. So first here we have the Adaptive Gaming Controller. This is made by Microsoft, and it comes in this box. The box is accessible to open. As you can see at the top, there is that gray string there, and all you need to do is pull it up to open the box like this. Inside, you will find the Xbox Adaptive Gaming Controller and a USB-C cable to charge it. It also has instructions that tell you how to set up the controller. Next, we have the Logitech Adaptive Gaming Kit. These are the buttons, switches, and triggers that will connect to the controller. These will function as the buttons that would be on an Xbox controller that comes with the system. And this allows you to move them wherever you would like and put them on this mat that is a non-slip mat. The kit comes with a lot of buttons and you'll see when we get inside the box that these buttons come in a variety of shapes and forms and they have a variety of functions. And then on the left here we have two mats that the kit comes with. And these are anti-slip mats. So they have Velcro on the top, but on the bottom, they have this anti-slip material that allows you to place it on any surface and not have it slide around. It also comes with a pack of stickers to label the buttons. Next, let me show you how to connect the controller. I'm going to connect it via Bluetooth. So here I have a wireless dongle that is D-O-N-G-L-E. And these allow you to connect the controller to a PC, which is what I will be using. To connect it, there's a button on the back that you're going to press for three seconds and press your dongle as well. The controller will then flash and then you will see it connect as it flashes three times and then has a solid white light. Once you see that solid white light, then you know you're connected. So let's take a look at this controller. First we have the power button. Then we have the options button and the start button. Below that we have the battery indicator. And we have the button that allows you to switch what controller you're using. So from controller 1 to 2 to controller 3, depending on what user you want to be. Then on the bottom we have the D-pad, which goes in four directions. We also have the A button and the B button. This controller does not have an X or Y button. That is what you will connect with these adaptive gaming kits. So here we have the anti-slip Velcro mat. This is what you'll place the buttons on that you will connect to the adaptive controller. As you can see, I am pushing it a lot and it's barely even moving. So that's nice for when you want to place it on different surfaces and it allows you to not have it slide around. And it's very easy to pick up and very lightweight. Here is what the buttons look like when you place them on the mat. As I said before, you can Velcro these buttons to the mat. There's a set of stickers that have Velcro on the other side that you can place on the bottom of these buttons. And that will allow you to place them securely on the mat. And then finally, here is what it looks like all together. On the left, we have the Xbox Adaptive Gaming Controller. And on the right, we have the Velcro mat with the buttons Velcroed to it. So now let's test this controller out with the game. Here I have pulled up the game Multiverses. This is just a fun, simple player versus player type game. It has a bunch of Warner Brothers cartoon characters that people may be familiar with. And I thought it would be fun to use to test out the controller. Also, I apologize for the background noise in advance. One thing to know is the nice tactile feedback that the buttons have when you press them. I found this very helpful, especially when you're looking up at the screen to make sure you know that you hit the button. So here we're just going to test out some basic moves to make sure that the controller works with the game. I would like to note that I do not have a joystick with this controller, so I had to remap the button layout in the game to make it work with the D-pad. But if you would like to purchase the joystick, it is sold at the same website that sells this adaptive controller. It is sold separately. So this is a good start. I'm going through the menu with the D-pad and the A button and the B button, and the game is recognized in my controller just fine, so that's a good sign. Another side note is that this controller is very customizable and so 
You might have to customize it in different ways for different games, but that's what I love about this is that it's so versatile. All right, so let's see if it works now. Perfect. I can move around, I can move left to right, I can move down, and I can move up. So as I hit these buttons, the character does their basic combo moves. I also like how great the response time is on this controller. As soon as I click that button, a move happens. These buttons are also very easy to press. It does not take a lot of pressure to click on one of these buttons. But let's stop for a second and change to a character that's more my speed. Personally, I'm a Tom and Jerry fan, so I'm going to pick Tom and Jerry. For those who don't know Tom and Jerry, Tom is a cat and Jerry is a mouse. And for who I'm going to play against, let's go with Batman. And let's go with the Batman from Batman the Animated Series. Alright, so now let's test out more of the buttons to make sure all of them respond well. Here we have my Y combo move, which is the slingshot. It shoots a tennis ball. <laughs> I just love this game because it has a lot of wacky physics and cartoon-like physics, so it's just funny to play. So my A, B, Y, and X are working. The D-pad is working. The start button is working. Try out the bumpers and the triggers. And here you can hear more of a clicking sound. Another important note that is with all these buttons connected, I still have other ports free. There are 19 ports on the back of this adaptive gaming controller. And two USB ports, as well as an audio port for a headset. But with that all tested, that does it. So that is the Xbox Adaptive Gaming Controller and the Adaptive Gaming Kit by Logitech. If you would like to try this out, please contact our program for more information. Thanks for watching.